welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're continuing with Conan and we're doing this fella Cosatrol Skell uh, Co uh, hang on Cosatrol Kel now this guy he isn't human he is like a demon or semi demon something like that he has metallic skin hmm skin that looks like and acts like iron and that is going to pose a problem because I don't really want to do him as all in metal so I'm going to actually do skin tone to this fella and give him a nice uh, scabbard um, and jeweled well not jeweled but metallic dagger a nice scabbard nice belt and whatever okay so let's get on with it shall we and first off we're going to be using for the flesh rat skin flesh for his hair we're going to be using Abaddon black for the like I don't know what they're called I'm going to for, for want of a better word I'm going to call it skirt at the moment I'm going to be using corn red and then we will also be using um, where are we where are we where are we this one will do rune lord brass for the metal and that is as far as we're going at the moment so let's get some of the colours onto our palette and we're starting off with the flesh colour which is going to be the rat skin flesh there's a lot of flesh on this guy and as you may have noticed they have actually primed him a different way all the the monsters and um, shall we say all the bad guys in this game I've done so that they have been primed with black then a highlight over with grey and then a further highlight with white directly from the top and that's just basically to distinguish between the good guys and the bad guys no other reason for that <laughs> so um, I'm just going to get some of the this master stuff off my brush I was going to brush the clean last night. Oh, yeah. Dip the brush into water. Scrape off a little bit and into our paint. And every word that is flesh is going to get a coating of this colour. Now it's not going to stick in one go as you may have noticed so we will be coming back to this again but I'm going to do one coat now and then I'll do another coat off camera because let's face it we need to have a few different coats for for these now because it's very watery paint and it's going on quite a dark colour where it's pale it might not need um, to have that but saying that it's all going to get another coat after this so uh, once it's dried I'll do that and then once it's ready for washing I will come back and basically give it a wash so as you might be able to tell the um, this colour is going on over the black not too well but over the paler colour it's going on and actually 
um, seems to be covering quite well. I did find out something as well that the uh, the black I use isn't actually a primer; it's just a normal um, spray can. So. I have to rethink my idea for that one. Yeah, well, I thought they were all primers, but never mind. Prime it with grey first and then go over it with the black. And then give it a good spray in. So from like a 45 degree angle with grey and then um, directly from above with white to give it that I think it's called zenithal highlighting I may not need to come back and uh, paint more if this is going to dry as quick as it is doing because I just need to um, cover it up while it is dry hoping that all this doesn't um what's the word I'm looking for doesn't obscure any of the detail in the face. I don't think it should. You say applying thin coat uh, thin coats like this should enhance the details rather than obscure. Basically, is the not the hard job, but it's the most time consuming. It's con time consuming job. We have to make sure it's all covered, and more importantly, um, is an even coat. Because this is flesh, you've got to do it so it's an even coat. Um, even though some, on uh, clothing and things like that, I don't normally worry about that because um, I don't think you'd need to be. Well, you wouldn't need to be too concerned because it just shows, um, especially on battle games and that kind of thing, war games. Um, it makes it look as though the flesh is dirty. And um, all the clothes are dirty rather and dishevelled. Whereas flesh, you really need to make sure it's a a good coverage, and everywhere is nicely. Um, you've got a nice even coverage all over. So this is going to take some time. Um, I may decide. I don't particularly like these colours as for priming. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that now how it stands. So I don't particularly want to be going over too much of it. <coughs> I'm going to go back to it um, after it's dried and give it a, a second coat. But uh, for now that's all I can do. Next we're going to be using the black. I'm going to do this here. Not much of that to be done. <coughs> okay. And we'll 
have the, we have the black on the palette. Let's just get a little bit of water on the brush and into the black that's on the palette. And now onto the hair. Um, I've been trying to work out what story this is from. I think it's one called something on the lines of Gods of Iron or something like that. I might be wrong. I can't remember. So I'll just go over all the uh, areas with this black. sure that all the hair uh, is covered. There we are. That's that. Next, the little skirty thing he has. Somebody's going to tell me, I'm assuming, uh, exactly what it's called. I've not a clue to be honest. Um, <clears throat> and this is a brand new paint for me, I've never used this colour before, so uh, all good. I just decided to get a dark red, so I got corn red. And I'm going to be um, adding to the look of this particular mini with some of the new technical paints from Games Workshop. Um, the one specially designed for doing gemstones. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're called yet. Um, I've got them here, but at the moment I'm concentrating more on the painting of this fella. I'm talking what other paint colours are. Um, I will check when I finish this. But I went and bought the those colours along with another metallic silvery colour which I've been told is the uh, is a really good silver to use as a base colour <coughs> for um what should we call it saying now. My head keeps switching off today. Oh well. <coughs> and then we need to just give it a little bit of a touch up. There we go. That's next. <coughs> what we're going to be using is. Oh, now, shall we use that one? Or. Oh. Not that one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, there 
it is right in front of me that's why I couldn't see it and I'm not sure whether to not bother using the rune brass the rune f what was it rune lord brass but to use one of these hmm I think I might use this first of all <coughs> and go over the belt and the um, the hilt or the uh, scabbard of the sword I think I may well do that I'll pop it down on the pallet There we go, and let's get in there. Because I want the Ujit colours, the colour that I put on this, to be incredibly bright. So I don't particularly want. Uh, dull metallics underneath it. So using this will make the um, make the gemstone colours quite bright and vivid. There will be areas that I want to have in gold where I'm not going to be putting any of that paint on so I may <coughs> in fact I won't. it's not a case of I may I will do those areas in uh, gold um, these I'm going to go over I say in the. I was going to look at what they were called, didn't wasn't I? And didn't I went straight into doing this? I will. Bear with me a second. Let me finish this. And once I've finished this particular colour, I will have a look then. Assuming, of course, I remember to do so because my memory at the moment is not doing too well. Um there we go. That's that. Next we'll do the the scabbard. just go over all of the scabbard in this silver and then I can come and put the gem core that I want over the top of it and it is going to be made into um, not made, but it is going to be uh, the highlight part is going to be gold, you know, the sticky out bits. Sticky out bits, the embossed areas are going to be gold. as well. There we are. So there's other parts that are going to be um, Um, 
smooch it uh, they're going to be uh, gold so I'm not going to paint them in this colour <coughs> okay so I'll just rinse my brush out and the three new colours that I'm looking at are spirit stone red waystone green and soulstone blue these are the three new citadel uh, paints that you use for gemstones and they go apparently really well over this silver and gold colour speaking of the gold colour let's get some on shall we it's the retributor armour Pop some more palette and get a little brush. And we will paint anything that is now not silver red or the flesh colour. So we still have a fair way to go with this and uh, once I've finished this then this flesh tone should be okay enough to go over again but I'm going to give it a, a little bit longer making sure that all the gold and silver is dried before I continue with it though because I really don't want to rush this and I'm just going to go over these little bits at the bottom here um, again not quite sure what they are or what they're called rather Now there's some areas on this I'm not going to touch with the gold because I'm going to have to go over again with the um, the flesh tones like these bits here and we'll circle it around the head. So I think I'm going to leave that there and head back into the flesh tone. and see how it works and so I want a nice clean even distribution of paint and once we've got that we can then wash so I think what I'm going to have to do is leave it here and uh, come back when it's time for washing. Um, all I'm doing is just giving the, um, the flesh tones another once over and if it needs it I'll give it a third. Okay so I said I'll leave it there and come back to it when we're ready to continue. Right we're back um and uh what's his face cause a troll cow has had his uh what do you call it flesh tone done now it's as good as i want it to be because i don't want it to be too natural looking because this guy is not as we say what you'd call a natural human in fact he's more of a demon than anything else and he has metallic kind of skin as I think I've mentioned before. So why am I going that I don't want that one? So what we're going to be doing instead of using I picked up the wrong one. Instead of using the normal skin tones that I would usually use, I'm going to use all over with no oil. I 
Okay, so we will just go over everywhere with this. In fact, not quite everywhere. I don't want to go over the uh, the silver parts. But everywhere else, we'll get a coating of this. And you'll see why a little later when we come to highlight. Um, but I don't want it going over very thickly. Um, I want it, I will still want the um, flesh colour to come through it. So allow it to pull where it needs to pull, but I don't want it to discolour. The, um, the flesh tone too much. All right. So there is going to be like a black look to the natural skin colour. Also making the red look a lot darker by adding black as well. Um, and we're going to have a different look to the skin tone for this um, and when we come back and start highlighting I'll read a passage to you so you know exactly why I'm doing this okay so that is it for this part I hope you've enjoyed it until next time when we uh, spend a little time highlighting this fella until then as always take care god bless and bye for now